Today I'm going to demonstrate how to transfer a drawing onto linoleum using pastel. This could be done with almost any type of traditional art material such as charcoal, pastel, compressed graphite, and Conte crayon. Chalk doesn't seem to work very well though. I begin by filling in the back of the drawing with pastel, being sure to cover it completely so there aren't any white gaps. I've left a little strip along the top of the drawing so that I can fold it over the linoleum and tape it in place. The type of tape you use doesn't really matter as long as it doesn't come off the linoleum. I tape the bottom as well, and if the sides need it, I do those too. Next I begin tracing over anywhere that a white shape meets a black shape. As I go, I mark the black areas with a B and the light areas with an X. If you were to include other patterned areas, you could mark those as well. Be sure to check early on that your material is transferring. Once you finish tracing everything, the tape and drawing come off, so check it a few times to be sure you didn't miss any areas. I find the initial transfer too intensely vibrant and messy, so I like to take a damp paper towel and carefully wipe a little of the extra powder off. Test this in the corner first to make sure you aren't using too much water or too much pressure. You wouldn't want to accidentally wipe off everything. Next I will go over my lines with a ballpoint pen. Your hand will generate a lot of friction when you go to cut the plate later, and that can lift off faint transfers like this one. Be sure not to skip this step if you are transferring graphite because it smears really terribly. Because light transfers can lift off easily, I begin inking the right side first. 
It's not a big deal if the pen smears a little bit, but I don't want to lose any of the line work. Now the block is ready to be cut. If I didn't like the way this turned out, I could take it all off with rubbing alcohol and sand the surface down a little. The block has not yet been changed in a permanent way. If I wanted, I could also go over it with an ink wash so that I can better see where I'm cutting later on.